In Soy's case, if we were to match it against Wei, we'd have to take a higher amount and or take additional leucine on the side. What's up YouTube? Welcome to our channel. I'm Jay from L214. In today's video, we're going to talk about the myth of soy protein. One of the myths surrounding soy or protein source from soy is that it can elevate one's estrogen level, which can counter the serum testosterone level, which if anyone who's interested in fitness hears about, might start freaking out. Let's take a look at what scientific studies say about soy protein and its relationship to muscle building. Let's get started. Let's first take a look at comparison between soy protein versus whey protein on serum testosterone level. In a 2005 study led by Dr. Dillingham and colleagues regarding soy protein and serum reproductive hormone level in men, concluded that soy protein decreased testosterone with minor effects on other hormones, providing evidence for some effects of soy protein on hormones. But in a 2010 meta-analysis paper on soy protein and testosterone suggested that soy food nor its supplements alter measures of bioavailable testosterone concentrations in men. On further note, a clinical trial done on rats from a study published by a group of Chinese scientists stated that soy supplement could alleviate testicular damages, increase testosterone level, and upregulate the expression of proteins and genes related to testosterone synthesis in diet-induced obesity male rats, which would be important for obesity male reproduction treatment. As you can see, these are just the tip of the iceberg. There are many conflicting results, even in research papers. And of course, given that the models and methods may differ from paper to paper, but still, there are many. So instead of testosterone, I decided to look up a more direct keyword like soy protein versus whey protein on muscle growth. So before I show you guys papers that studied on soy protein versus whey protein in muscle mass gain, there's something I'd like to point out first. In terms of protein ingestion targeted for muscle building, leucine, one of 20 amino acids that make up a protein, is known to play a vital role in stimulating muscle protein synthesis. The reason why I mention this is because there could be a difference in ratio or total quantity of different amino acids between animal protein and plant-based protein, even at the same net weight. In other words, even if you ingest 20 grams of plant-based or in today's video's case, soy protein, you may not get the total or the same amino acid makeup than if you were ingesting 20 grams of animal protein like meat, eggs, or even dairy protein like whey or casein. So back to the study, in a meta-analysis published in 2018 regarding soy protein versus whey protein on muscle building, concluded that soy protein supplementation produces similar gains in strength and lean body mass in response to resistance training as whey protein. Also, a study in 2020 investigated differences in muscle growth and strength development when consuming soy and whey protein supplements while resistance training for 12 weeks. This study also concluded that increase in lean mass and strength are comparable between soy and whey protein group. However, one key thing to point out here is that both groups were matched with additional 2 grams of leucine and whey protein group took 19 grams, soy protein group took 29 grams, about 1.5 times higher dose. The scientists also mentioned that although protein source from soy has a higher amino acid score, compared to other plant-based protein. However, it is assumable that soy was able to be matched with whey protein in this particular study because of higher supplement dosage, as well as additional leucine supplementation since whey has a higher concentration of leucine than soy. Ultimately, a plant-based protein from a single source plant has a limited amino acid makeup than animal protein, so it is recommended to mix various plant sources to match the amino acid makeup. And in soy's case, if we were to match it against whey, we'd have to take a higher amount and or take additional leucine on the side. To summarize today's key points, one, the scientific evidence that suggests soy protein supplementation reduces serum testosterone level is yet inconclusive, and many studies still point out that it does not. And two, soy protein can provide similar benefits in muscle building and strength gain as does whey protein. Three, 
If we were to get the same or similar benefits from soy compared to whey, we'd have to take a larger amount and or add additional leucine on the side. Personally, do I take soy protein? I actually do not. My wife and I tried it once and it made us feel bloated and it made us quite gassy, to be honest. So I'm still sticking with good old whey and casein. Surprisingly, soy intolerance or soy allergy are a thing. Soy intolerance has a similar symptoms as lactose intolerance, such as diarrhea, feeling nauseous, abdominal inflammation, or bloating, and such. And soy allergy may have side effects such as rash or itchiness around the lips. So make sure that you're not allergic to soy before you're taking it. Well, that's it for soy and whey protein on testosterone level and muscle building potential. I hope today's video cleared up on some myths regarding soy and whey protein. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button if you found this video helpful and always make gains. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.